I'm scared. All right, so my cousin has sent me a fanfic that's unfinished. I have no idea. She said it was only one chapter long so far, I believe. I don't know. I don't know if it's only one chapter and then that's it forever or if there's going to be more later on. I thought she made it, but I guess somebody else made it. I don't know. She's being very vague about it. So, all right. <clears throat> long, long ago, I was going to start like this, huh? It's going to start like a Star Wars. <clears throat> Long, long ago, the demon lord conquered the world. Stripped of the will to fight back, the good people were oppressed and exploited by the wicked ruler. And long did they suffer under evil's reign. Yes, do voices, I see. Should I do some sort of narrator voice, or is my regular voice fine for the regular narration? As it happened, a group of brave men and women found the courage to stand against the darkness and despair. Heroes, they were called. Yeah, is it is it this just generic as hell, whichever you want, alright. I don't wanna kill my throat today, so I'll keep it at a minimum. And it's not because I'm using that as an excuse for my bad voice acting. I was practicing my Vegeta voice like the beginning of this week and like the rest of the week I had like a sore throat. <laughs> it didn't get better until like yesterday. I hurt myself too much. Uh and the greatest among them, All Might. Wait, wait, is this like my hero, but like, but like medieval fantasy thing going on? Wait, wasn't that like the second outro? Second or third outro, right? They were all, remember that outro? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So it's inspired by that, okay. Third outro is the third one? Okay, I don't know why I thought it was the second. All Might smashed the demon lord back from whence he came, restoring peace to all the land. These heroes were revered by all, and one boy from the countryside named Izuku, Izuku held in his heart an admiration for All Might that bordered nearly on madness. Oh god, <laughs> Deku's voice, I hate it. Nah, it's hot. Right, right. <laughs> Mother, 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 from now on, the deck is the name of a hero. I'm gonna kill myself. Mother, I'm off to become All Might's apprentice, said the boy one day. Oh, be careful out there in the world, said his mother. Through the mother, oh, though, though the mother was taken aback at her son's sudden gleeful departure, she nonetheless saw him off with a smile and a wave. The boys, Fanaticism had been apparent from an early age, so she knew there was nothing she could do when one of these moods gripped him. In high spirits, Izuku skipped down the road toward the town, where they hoped to find All Might, but the boy soon lost his way. This was, after all, his first journey away from his own village. Fortunately, the lost, troubled boy was soon spotted by a positively positively Uraka looking girl named Ochaku and a boy clad in full armor named Tenya. When, I when Izuku informed the pair of his quest for All Might, their faces darkened. They say that All Might has gone missing, said Tenya. What? How, c what? How can this be? God damn it, said Izuku. Rumor spoke of scores of heroes vanishing within the realm of somewhere. Clever including All Might himself. Tanya, who, who came from a long line of, line of proud knights, had set out to solve the mystery, and Ochako had accompanied him as a mercenary mage employed by his family. Given the nature of their quest, Izuku decided to join them. However, the road to somewhere has l was long indeed, and the trio soon ran low on provisions. How odd. I was positive I have packed enough food for this trip, said Ida. Ah, sorry, said, Iz said Izuku. We, we probably ran out. We probably ran out because he's sharing with me now. Not says I brought extra in case of emergencies, so we shouldn't have run out so quickly. Hmm. Ochaku, why do your cheeks bulge like a pair of rosy wax moons? <laughs> sorry, using magic spells makes a girl hungry. 
Hang on, can you just create more food with magic? Asked Izuku. Then it's impossible to guess who's talking without like reading a little ahead. If it was that, it was that easy, I think I think I'd be busting my butt as a mage for hire. So they peeved through Chaco, whose family finances made even peasants seem wealthy. Rocky or Araka sounds more manly than Deku. <laughs> oh, like in general or the way that I'm voicing it? All right, guess not. Sorry. The way you're voicing it? Okay. But then again, I can't do girl voices. That's the problem. And how am I supposed to go higher than, you know, Deku's voice? Do I, try to, do I try to talk like a fence or something? Hold up. <clears throat> Do I try to talk like this or something? I, I, I can't do a girl voice. I can't. It's impossible. <laughs> ah, do you want me to do this kind of voice or something? Do you want me to do this voice? Do you? Uh, did Deku ask why she can't just use magic to make food? Sound like a gremlin? What do you mean I sound like a gremlin? Oh yeah, hang on, can't you just create more food with magic? Asks Izuku, that's what he said, yeah. Okay, I missed the part, wow. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little up here. But I don't know, do you think this is too big? Try like shrinking this up a little bit to have some clarity. Uh, it's kind of hard to gauge it and then have like nothing else. It's just a black void. Actually, now that I think about it, I could at least put it in the middle. That's better, right? All right, I guess not. Sorry, said Izuku. The trio trudged wearily on the empty bellies until they came across a tree bearing magnificent fruit. Grateful for nature's bounty, they plucked the fruit and began to eat. Oh, how absolutely scrumptious, declared Ida. It's all soft like mochi with hints of kiniko and brown sugar. Sugar, said Izuku. Gosh dang it. This be so great with a nice cup of dirt tea. Boy, I wish mom and dad could taste this stuff, said Ochako. The children were too busy stuffing their faces to notice a pair of guards approaching. Guards clad in armor adorned with flame patterns. Was it you three who, who dared to steal Lord Endeavor's Kus Kusamochi fruit? <laughs> 